Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. 3.33 a.m. I'm laying in my bed staring into the abyss, debating all the choices I've made, didn't make, should have made, am going to make. I start thinking, dreaming in a surreal frantic fever state of Superman. Truth, justice, and the American way. What does the American way even mean today? I'm not sure, but surely it can't be good. Truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. What does tomorrow look like? Will it look just like today? That fills me with a sadness. Then within that sadness, I realize that the original hero, that shining beacon of hope, hasn't had his own film in almost a decade. I ask myself, why? Is there no room for that kind of optimism in a world full of comedic cynicism? I scream, I plead, please, make a Superman movie. This is an open letter to Warner Bros, Warner Brothers, to the spirits of Harry Albert Sam and Jack Warner. Legendary comic artist Tim Sale, one of my favorites, one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing today, passed away recently. And despite all his magical, powerful, inspirational work on Batman, Spider-Man, Hulk, Daredevil, and so many icons, this one panel has always been my favorite, stuck in the part of my brain that's peaceful melancholy. Thinking about Superman, for whatever reason, always makes me feel just like this panel. A sense of peace and a sense of sadness. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the idea of being a lone alien sent from a distant planet. The idea of a mother and a father sending their boy in a lifeboat across the stars, not knowing what will happen to him. Maybe it's the fact that their child was lucky enough to fall into the lives of the two best parents. Farmers who didn't have much money but who instilled in him the values, the love that made him so super. I think about the different versions of him, the one that wears his underwear on the outside who smiles with such innocence looking at the woman he loves, the one that despite the world's cynicism still fights for what he believes in, the one that is discovering how to be a father, the one that is still discovering his empathy and beliefs. I think about Jimmy Olsen, his dorky best pal. I think about Lois Lane, the icon of strength, intelligence, and perseverance, who exists, stands with us on the ground in this very messed up, twisted world. She doesn't let that realism, our too often grim reality, define her, change her, beat her. She never loses her will, her need to uncover the truth, expose the corrupt, all in service to us, for us. Her empathy for her people, her her faith that we can be more, need to be more, is what keeps our Superman flying. I think about Lex Luthor and who he could be. The comical, mad, egomaniac. The bruised, battered son of a billionaire, aching to be powerful. Or the sympathetic, tortured child, looking for a brother, looking for any kind of love. I get misty-eyed thinking about how no matter what you do with the character of Superman, at his core, his story is one of love. The God who can lift land, sit on clouds, will always choose love. All he can do, all he could do, and he chooses to sit with us, love us in the ways we cannot love ourselves. Even if we don't deserve that empathy, that kindness, even if we will make tomorrow worse, he still believes that we have the potential to make it a better one. That idea, that selfless, all-giving love, that love, his love, is timeless. You could make a period piece, have Superman exist in the time he was conceived, have him fight the injustices that were a part of that American way, have him say golly gee and great Scott. You could tell a modern tale, a tale where the world has changed, where the world is asking him to change, but he refuses. He keeps his beliefs. We are constantly changing, but Clark Kent doesn't have to. His love is ageless, an older, wiser Superman who has seen how low we can sink, seen how high we can fly, is just as powerful, as vulnerable, as empathetic as a young man trying to figure out his place in the world. His love is timelineless. doesn't matter who dons the cape. It could be Henry, it could be Tyler, it could be someone fresh and new, someone we don't expect. We never expected Christopher Reeve to change cinema to be the friend we all needed. That friend isn't one face, that friend is faceless. Ask someone who Superman is and you will get a hundred different responses. Superman is Superman. 
I don't know why I'm making this video. Maybe I'm just mad that man's best friend Crypto has a feature film coming out, but the man himself can't seem to get one going. I have nothing new to say. I think I just wanted to say it. I just think we live in a world where now more than ever, we need that friend. We need someone to tell us that it's okay to be different. Someone to show us that it's more than okay to be kind. We need Clark Kent not to preach or lecture, but to show us that sincerity isn't dead, that truth and justice still have a meaning, that Superman's selfless adoration of humanity, of all of us, still is worth it. That no matter how bleak, no matter how cynical we are, how much we hurt each other, we still have the capacity to hope, to love, and to believe in that better tomorrow.